And now on to BB Entertainment. We have Rochelle Thompson in studio with us right now. And Rochelle, can you tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started? Well, I'm Rochelle Thompson, um, and I'm originally from Liberia. Um, and I'm currently in Ghana um, studying in medicine. Okay. So I, I also sing. It's I have two loves, medicine and music. Far off the spectrum, but <laughs> not so much. I was about to say, a lot of people are like, well, what's the doctor doing in the beach? I say, know, like, I know, but it's what I love. They'll find out. We'll give them time. Yeah. So why did you decide to come to Ghana for medical school? Well, actually, I was one of those... Um, I traveled a lot with my family as as a child, and Ghana was one of the places that I lived. I actually lived here two years before, um, and after living here, I you know I went to university in the United States. I worked. I lived there for several years, and when I decided I wanted to come back, go go back to medical school, I thought what great opportunity it would be. Number one, to be able to study something that I love within the context um, that is relevant to me, which is our African context and so I you know I looked it up the, there are great medical schools here um, where I go to school is a place of repute and it's cheaper I also thought $250,000 <laughs> worth yeah. of loans versus something I can afford be closer to my family in Liberia and I just jumped on the opportunity and I'm here yeah and we're glad to have you here <laughs> I'm glad to be here <laughs> now tell me what does it mean for you as a foreign um, woman to be work studying sorry here in Ghana what is your experience like um, well the experience it's been there's been good days and there's, there have been um, bad days uh, what's good is that I as a person that has, has traveled a lot and lived in a lot of places it, it's easy it's not quite as difficult for me to relate to a variety of people which I mean you see everyone when they're sick it doesn't matter who they are from the president to the person cleaning the floor from wherever to wherever and so f being a foreign person it allows me I think to be able to you know just to communicate with people and you know just to understand just the differences that there are in people um, and also some of the challenges, you know, of course, language barrier. I, I can't always uh, have some one two by two tree <laughs> that I that I, I speak to try and communicate. Does anyone ever get upset when you don't speak? Tree? Yeah, but I mean, what are they gonna do? The thing is, people are sick, so when they need help, at the end of the day, they don't really care what language <laughs> you speak. But when they start, I, I start a little by little, and if it's too much, I'm like, tree. <laughs> and it's like, but you're speaking you tree. I was like, no, 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 that's that. You took it too far. Um, so those are some of the challenges. And being a, a woman, you know, some, you know, sometimes patients, some people are kind of old school. They expect the older, you know, male doctor to come in, and it's like, here's this young chick what does she know and you know but you just you just deal with it at the end of the day I'm just I'm doing what I love to do I'm yeah. trying to help people if they're sick eventually they get over it and they just <laughs> you know let me go ahead and, and do, do what I have to do yeah. now tell me a little bit about Liberia I mean knowing that it was a war-torn country how is it different over there that compared to here I mean obviously I mean it, it Liberia has fallen quite far from its once glorious state um, I should say, but it, things are coming back. Things are coming back. I think some of the same challenges that you face with you, um, you know, politics in Africa is no matter what field you're in, is always the same thing. Um, you know, people who are a little a little uneasy sometimes when they see women who are you know very you know go getters. I mean, so it's in in that respect, some things never change. Yeah. yeah. Now you've been to so many countries, um, lived there, mm -hmm. um, and you've probably experienced the different roles that women play in mm -hmm. these different um, countries. What are some of the, how did you adjust to all the different countries? Well, um, it's, it's a bit different. I, um, living in the United States, it's basically, of course, there's, you know, women have come a long way mm -hmm. um, worldwide in general. Some places they've come a little further. Um, than in others, but living in the United States where basically it's all about proving what it is that you can do and people are more easily ready to let go of women or race as long as you're the one that can get the job done and that's sort of been more of a transition here where a woman who like speaks out or 
who is you know very much of a go-getter is seen as a bit more aggressive and not so much the type that you normally see so sometimes people do get offended and you're you know you're trying to do your job or you're trying to do what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you know someone say oh you some small girl like that <laughs> you know and it's like no it's, it's really not about that I'm just trying to do something and to make a difference so age so, is a big age age is a huge thing even before being a woman age oh like... age age is just is huge it's it's I mean it's a big thing it's we I mean it, it's one of the good thing and the bad things about our culture where it's a culture where we respect um, you know our elders and you know we we place a big emphasis on seniority but sometimes it, it comes into play because you know people often think well if you don't if you're not if you don't have enough age or years behind you then you don't know and then you know being a woman you know why, why are you talking so yeah. much you shouldn't be talking so much it's not proper for a lady to talk so much or to be so aggressive but you know you deal with the challenges you can either complain about it or just move on and do something yeah. about it so yeah. i choose to just keep it moving and do what i have to do yeah that's all you can do yeah <laughs> now coming from nigeria also you do sorry liberia <laughs> coming from liberia also you do have a female yeah. president yeah can you tell us a bit about that like what how did the environment the country um accept that what did they do to accept that i think um, I don't want to be so pessimistic, but I, I think people just came to a point where they had to let go of um, whatever prejudices they had. And, you know, when you're in dire need, I mean, it comes down to who's the best person to do the job. At the time, she was the best person. Um, Her Excellency, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who is, I think, the first African woman president um, ever. And people just had to let go of whatever prejudice they had and realize that at the time she was the one who could do the what do the job and do what the country needed. And I think that is, it's a, it's an, I think that should be an inspiration for many women, not just African women, not just Liberian women or Guinean women, but women everywhere that we can achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve. And I mean, they say, may the best man win, may the best woman win. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the entertainment segment, what everyone's been waiting for, why there's a doctor in the BB entertainment segment. This song I picked because it's uh, International Women's Day. And it's just a song to inspire women out there. Inspire Alicia Keys. Complete. I stand up and I'm searching for the better part of me. I hang my head from sorrow, the state of humanity. got to find the strength in me cause I am superwoman yes I am yes, yes you are Rochelle <laughs> as you've heard it Rochelle is a superwoman so can you now this is the Be Bold Show. My name is Crystal Jenna. As usual, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, um, Koala for the beautiful set, Accents and Arts for the furniture, Duafe for this beautiful outfit I have on, and Kabengo for all the jewelry and all my sponsors. Thank you very much for making this possible. Now, before we sign out, again, I'd like to wish you Happy Independence Day, and Rochelle's going to sing our national anthem for us. true
cherish fearless honesty and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and my forevermore and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and